Hey guys, this is Imran from imstech.co.com now anyway. Um, but anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to make a navigation bar. This is a, this is my second tutorial on Adobe Fireworks CS5. So um, the first tutorial I covered most of the basics and hopefully that should be, if you've seen that then hopefully you should be prepared for this tutorial. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out. But anyway, uh, the first thing I need to do is create a new so fireworks document png so i'm going to click this button right here now i've got to select the width of the canvas so that's going across so i'm going to just select 900 and i can select the height so i'm going to make a long navigation bar so what i'm going to do is give it a width of you could give it a 100 or 200 but i just want a bit of space so i'm going to just put 200 in there i'm going to press uh, i'm going to leave it to transparent and i'm going to press ok so um, this is my canvas at the moment, it's blank. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a auto shape. Um, as I discussed in the last tutorial, the auto shape section is right here. I'm gonna select a rounded rectangle, which is already selected. If, I, if you don't see the rounded select, uh, rect, sorry, rounded rectangle, you just click and hold the button. You've got your different options, your different auto shape. and rounded rectangle is here if you wanted the normal rectangle which is right at the top I'm going to click on rounded rectangle I'm just going to click and draw my rounded rectangle and at the moment it's white and it's pretty dull what I can do is give it a color so click and pick a color um, I'm going to go with blue at the moment but if you guys wanted to go try something a bit more creative be more funky you can also add a gradient We've got linear gradient there, so that kind of you know sets it off a little bit, makes it look a little bit more rounded. But uh, like I said, I'm going to just stick with the basic solid color, the solid blue. Okay, I'm going to need to add a bit of text, so I'm going to click the text tool and click and type in the word home. That's usually a good start. Um, Okay, now if I wanted to move this, what I need to do is press the select pointer tool. So click on that and I can actually move my home button into my home text into the center. What I want to do is I want to add a drop shadow. So what I can do is press the plus fill and we covered this in the last tutorial. Um, shadows and glow and drop shadow. I'm going to make the drop shadow a little bit longer. Nine should be fine tent and keep it as black okay so once I've got one button I can just sort of edit copy so I've selected everything right click edit copy right click edit paste now what it's done is it's just pasted it on top most of the people they sort of paste it and they say well it's not pasted it. where's it gone yeah it's actually just pasted it on top directly on top as you can see now we've got two edit paste again it's just pasted on top again three and yep you've guessed it I'm going to do a fourth one so at the moment I've got four buttons what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the, the properties for the canvas I'm just going to click the properties for the canvas and change the color to white I think it just looks a little bit better with white so you can see a little bit more clearly and that's the effect I've given it um, obviously you guys can change the names uh, so I'll just give you an example about and so on just keep the rest as home um, okay so the next thing we need to do to actually make these buttons a link or links that go to different parts is we're gonna need to add either a hotspot or a slice now there's a key difference to this and, it, and the difference is depending on how you actually export your navigation bar if you do it as slices each slice will export will be exported as an image if you do it as an hotspot it won't be exported as separate images but it'll just export as one large image but I prefer to use slices but I'm going to show you guys both in a second so the first thing I'm going to do is press the slice and I'm going to just slice my first button you could copy and paste these slices but I'm just going to just draw out my slices as you can see well you might be able to see top of 
my other buttons has been sort of cut off um, what you can do is at the moment I can't actually select what's behind it now to actually hide my slices is this button right here which is hide slice or hotspots so if I click it hides them if I want to bring it back press that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight everything and I'm going to go to the align button right here align panel I should say and I'm just going to see if I can do a distribute top edge so the highest actually I'll distribute bottom edge and the lowest most point they all just align at the bottom and it's just made a very subtle movement um, and basically they should all be aligned not quite to be honest let's highlight that again try the top edge this time a little bit better maybe that's because the um, slices I've drawn aren't equal but I'm just going to do that manually actually so I'm going to hide them I'm just going to select I'm going to press the down button on my keyboard again down twice and that has leveled everything up yep that's fine okay now to actually add a drop down menu um, what I can do is right click a slice and press the add pop up menu I'm going to press that button right here now this most of the time works but occasionally it doesn't for some reason but I'm going to just try this page 1 page 2 obviously you guys will give it a appropriate name um, give it a link so this is where it goes so I'm just going to type in page 1.html I'm going to need no spaces actually so page 1.html i um, not going to do the second one because you guys get the general idea to add another one add another uh, drop down button you press the add menu and to remove you press the minus going to press next and what that basically does is just changes swaps tabs um, so you've got cells you can choose a cell as a HTML or as a image the HTML one does not look as nice but the image one kind of gives it you've got more options to do with appearance with the HTML one it loads quicker than the image but uh, nowadays everybody has broadband so if I just select the image and just go for appearance rather than speed so we can select different designs I'm going to sort of just keep it basic and we can actually just change the colors um, because blue is the sort of color we've already picked I'm just going to keep it as blue um, so you can change the font you can change the size make it a really large one if you want so let's go with 18 um, advanced again you can just add a drop shadow you can so add padding, padding is just like a margin within um, and so on, you can mess around with the properties for that position, um, again this is where the dropout menu will appear I'll just leave this as it is at the moment, I'm just going to press done and see if it's done, ok so it hasn't done it this time I'm glad, um, kind of annoyed but that it hasn't done it but this is a, one of the key problems that I face even when I teach this um, this is a problem let's try again um, usually the second time it works um, page 1 and page 2 gonna press next 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 done right okay so this time it's done it you're probably wondering well it was exactly the same last time what hopefully you guys can see over here is it's got this um, little bit of a funny sort of a swerve thing going on what you need to do is press the select button and you can actually just move this to where you want um, if I now press F12 on my keyboard it should give me a preview in a browser so now if I hover over it it actually has given me my drop down menu so you can see that's the, the different states um, that's the one we designed and cross that off so that's fine so we know that's working um, so that's how you create a drop down menu to add links say you didn't want um, a drop down menu but you just wanted these buttons to be clickable 
what you do is you click on the slice and then you can just type in your link so this could be a link to an external site this could be a link to some something within the website so I'm just going to type in about dot html and that's fine um, what I'll do is just show you guys the hotspot and that is pretty similar which is this one this is the hotspot I'm just going to draw a hotspot image hotspot and basically it's, it's just the same pretty much um, it's just uh, makes a difference on how it's exported and I'll show you guys that in a second um, again you can just type in I'll just type in hotspot just for the sake of it hot .html and I'm just going to hide the hot all the slices and the hotspot and I'm just going to change this to hotspot just to show you guys um, yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press file and export now we've got the options I'm just gonna call it untitled 3 for no, for no particular reason to be honest um, you guys will give it obviously a appropriate name actually I'll just call it nav um, export as image HTML and images um, you could export it as CSS and images so I'll just show you this first export as CSS and images and I'm just gonna press save and I'm just gonna plonk it on my desktop yeah it's giving me some sort of warning so you guys can see what it's actually drawn up I'm just gonna move these icons what it's done right this is the CSS page and it's these are the three slices but as you can see and I hope you can see um, I haven't got the hotspot button because I actually choose hot, chose hotspot rather than slices whereas these three I chose hotspot so you can see that's one difference straight away if I click on the navigate the actual HTML you can see hotspot looks a little bit different compared to the others yeah um, but so I'll just dump that in the bin the way I would export these and the way I recommend you export this is you press file export you select HTML and images and then you actually do it as a HTML file and nav.html I'm gonna press save let's see so okay straight away we've got a lot more um, stuff that it's sort of generated obviously ideally you'd want to put that in a file or a folder so I'm just gonna click Oops. didn't intend to do that but okay we can see the CSS that is generated there's basically uh, loads of divs um, just gonna press the navigation button so we can see it in the browser so you can see hotspot is the same and we've also got our navigation uh, drop-down menu working so that was just basic on how to create a navigation bar I'm sure you guys will create much more uh, be more creative with your navigation bars but basically as you guys can see uh, we, I demonstrated how show, showed you guys how to create a hotspot um, a slice and you got to see the differences between the hotspot and the slices and you also got to see how how I created a drop-down menu just to recap on that um, drop-down menu you right click and you press add navigation bar sorry oops Drop. You press add pop-up menu um, and if it doesn't work the second first time try it again hopefully you should do it um, yeah so take care uh, comment on the video leave me some feedback if you want um, that always helps like the video if you liked it and found it informative um, and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll put a few more videos try and put more often um, so yeah uh, take care